Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Hypnotic, and this is Vintage Story, and I'm still on 1.18.5, and it is snowing, and it is very, very cold outside. It is minus 10, and it is October 19th. I have spent quite a few in-game hours doing a couple of things. I have um, some real serious bouts of insomnia in my real life, and there's every now and then I just spend a night on the computer because I can't sleep, and I did that with this game. So I'm going to show you what I built downstairs. Um, remember when I was talking about building a pit kiln and a bloomery area off the side of the building, I did that. Good morning, Onyx. And I did a whole bunch of tools. And what else did I do? I made the wrench to turn to turn those tapestries that we got and I panned all the bony soil and I have been babysitting the garden and basically by now it's probably going to be dead because it's minus 10. What I've been doing by babysitting the garden is I've been breaking the ice for water in there and I've been watering it basically every morning and every night to try to get those those um, last crops done. I did get the cabbage um, most of the cabbage picked. Um, I'm a really afraid that most of it's going to die. And I got more temporal gears. By, by panning that bony soil, I got two temporal gears in the bony soil, and I got one off a drifter, so I got three more temporal gears. So you know what that means? We can go fix another TL. So I'm going to... Um, and I think, I think we actually have like five temporal gears now. Yeah, look at that. So we are ready to, to fix another TL. What I also have been doing is gathering up stuff to go make a garden and kind of set down a, a little bit of a permanent area. But once I got that, la once I got those two temporal gears, I thought maybe we should go fix another one before we settle in on that place. And I did pick up this book and when I set it down like that, it bonged and gave me the information on it. So I don't even know which one it is, um, which is a real bummer. I think it's this one, because this is the one that doesn't look familiar. Nestled in the heart of the kingdom, there stood a grand castle known as Glimmer Shield. It was a marvel to behold with its imposing square shape surrounded by a deep moat and guarded by our four mighty towers, each standing tall and proud in its own right. The Wycliffe family, a powerful and influential clan, were the lords of Glimmershield during the early centuries. Their castle was the envy of all who laid eyes upon it, a true testament to their wealth, power, and prestige. The castle walls were adorned with sculptures and paintings, each one more exquisite than the last. In the library, the vast collection of books filled every shelf, a treasure trove of knowledge that the family had acquired through their many journeys and dealings. Is this the Resonance Archive? Because it doesn't look like a castle to me. So I wonder if there's something else out there. Anyway, guys, today what we're going to do is we are going to... I'm going to give you a quick tour. We're going to put this book up there. I got that book through panning. So today I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I've done here. We're going to work on it a little bit because I had to start some glass. And then we're going to go fix that other TL. We're going to take everything as if we were going to go to the first one. We're going to take everything and hope it goes south. If it goes further south, we'll do some investigation and see if that's where we want to do a, a winter garden. So let's go. Okay, our tour starts here. Because what I've done is I've cut out this section and instead of making it just a bloomery and um, pit kiln area, I decided to go ahead and make it a storage area. So in here I can do dyes and things because um, I want to make all different kinds of dyes, different colored clays, um, different color cloth. I want to make myself some of the tailored gambeson and all of that. So I decided that this would be a very nice workroom for that. And so it's all cleaned up. I move, I'll show you everything that I did down here. I cut this open. Oh, look at all these monsters. It's medium rift activity. I cut this open and made it go down a little bit so it wasn't such a drastic fall to the ground um, because it is... Um, quite a bit lower. Let's kill this dude because we'll go this way. That way is to the outside. 
So um, this way goes out to the bloomeries and put kilns. So I'll kind of show you that as we go. Man, they're loud, aren't they? Um, these are the big, tall, three-door aged. I used five. Um, I ended up using one, two, three, four, five, six um, of the... Wow, the strips and nails to make those big doors. But this leads down into the, store, the new storage area. Um, it's all... Uh, basalt cobblestone, which is super cheap because I have tons of basalt. So it was really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to make this. This is the glass I found, and we're going to make this. Damn it. A glass um, roof. And I've been waiting to do that with you guys because I do have more glass that is over in the bloomeries. And I'll show you that section in a minute. But we're going to put this up. I wish we could do um, windows like this this direction with um, the cottage windows, but you can't. So it's kind of a bummer. I may end up chiseling these, I'm not sure. But you can see it is snowing and it is very, very cold. Okay, so I had enough. I didn't need to make more, but we'll put regular windows in there. I actually might not. I actually might just make this storage because I'm. as I moved in here, I thought maybe this isn't even big enough. I don't know. But here's the tannery. So the tannery, I just moved down underneath the stairs that I made. And then this wall, this door goes out to all these stupid ass monsters. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to run this way and try to disperse them a little bit first. Look at this winter wonderland. It's not snowing yet. I mean, it's not sticking yet, but look at how frozen everything is. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, while we're waiting for those monsters to disperse... Oh, look. The fruit trees are losing their leaves. They're going to vernalize. Entering dormancy. Oh, I love you, trees. Love you. Okay, let's look to see what's going on here really quick while those are dispersing. So I've been babying these. Those onions died. These, see this? They're freezing. So, but they're still pretty moist. I'm hoping that they can just get one more. And this is rough. This, these are just going to freeze again. Um, we've got flax. It's so close to ready. So close. Oi. I'm I'm going to continue to baby it. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's go see if we can enter the pit kiln and bloomery area now. So this is what it looks like from here. I've made a little path from the forge to the pit kiln area. And this is pit kilns and bloomeries. So, um... I can have two rows of bloomeries here, really, or I could raise this up one more and then it would be even more effective to have two areas. And then we can have fuel storage and such here. And it's not completely enclosed. These are just cheap slabs. And then I have this way to get back up into here. So it's two ways and it's closed off so the kitty can't get out. And it's not going to be very warm, but... Um, I think this is going to work. I'm feeling really happy about this. Let's see if we can get another gear. So the other thing I did, guys, is I made a ton of tools. I didn't even go get more iron yet because I still have... The iron I moved over to the bloomeries. I still have 27 blooms. I made 17... I still have 17 ingots. And then I expanded this wall of tools. I have six extra pickaxes, five extra sh uh, axes... Five extra shovels and five extra um, knives. So doing really good in the tool department. Pretty soon we are going to have to work on a pulverizer. I moved all the powdery stuff over here. The salt, the bones, because we can powder some bones. And that's what I would like to do right now. Because with powdered bones, you can um, make uh, pet biscuits. So we're going to do po we have bone meal with bone meal. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make sure that 64 only grinds into one before I leave it. Okay, so we're safe for it won't escape. So really, that's all I've done here. I mean, I know it seems like a lot, but 
there are some nights um, um, during my insomnia that I just play. I think I might take this dirt out. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this little platform of dirt here. I think I'm just going to take it out. Um, probably all the way back to here. And then just ha maybe plant a few little trees right here. So that is still on the to-do list. So let me know what you think. I can uh, show you what it looks like up above because I did use the clay roof. Let me just do this right here. I had plenty. Um, I guess we could do concerts up here. I don't know. Um, I don't, this is a very, oh, and I'm missing one of those. I still need to make one of those. I ran out during the process. But you can see how this roof works. It comes off this side and then down that side. Um, but yeah, I need to fix that. So this is, I'm, I think I'm going to, um, decorate this with probably some andesite, um, posts instead of the all black, but I just wanted to get it up and working. So now we have a more, a better place for our bloomeries and pit kilns, much more appropriate. And here is, um, our, see, we still have 196 bountiful chunks of hematite. I might as well start those before we take off. Okay, I got three bloomeries going. That's all the fire clay. I'm going to have to redo some bricks. Definitely do some bricks. Fire clay bricks very, very soon. The next time we come home and we do this stuff. I am going to organize my inventory and then we are going to go. I don't know whether I'm actually, we're going to actually take off today or whether we will, because it's so, the, the nights, the days are so short right now. Um, so when I get done with my inventory, I will assess. If I have time today, I'll do the bees really quick before we leave in the morning. Okay, I have done the bees. I don't um, have enough skeps to replace all the ones, but there is still some live bees out here. And I will be taking, the, taking one of those with me down south whenever we decide to do that. But look at the trees, the way they're losing their leaves. Wow, it's stunning. I need to put some ste steps right here too, I think. Uh, maybe pull this back one and then put steps right here and here because I'm realizing I would use this to get down here. We'll put a path into here somehow. Um, yeah, as I as I live with things, I change them and, and it, it just becomes better and better. The thing I like about that idea is the second I don't have any new ideas, I'm getting bored with it. So um, that's a good indicator for me that I'm still super happy with it and have a million ideas for this place. So um, I'm really enjoying this build. I'm really enjoying this location. I am looking forward to having a garden somewhere down south. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to take care of this honey and then we're going to go fix that other translocator and see where it goes. If it doesn't go somewhere good, we're going to go back and we're going to build an, a garden or at least... Find a place to build a garden in this episode. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I'm glad I can sleep in game. And here is the tapestries I got and I rotated them using the wrench. Look at that. They're so neat. I did notice that there is, um, there, I, I, I do remember that there was a couple of um, things we didn't loot from that ruin that I will go back and get. There was like a paper and a book, and then there was another banner that I wanted to grab. So, um, depending on where this uh, new TL goes, we will go back. We will go back either way, but we're gonna check it out. Do I have my lantern? Yes. I grabbed some candles since I did the bees too. This is just an exploratory mission. I need to bring back some strips of nails and, and an option for other um, for other storage. Okay, here's the other TL. So let's get busy. Let's put these in there. I Did I check in this room? Wow, there's lots of good stuff in this room. And there's some crates. Maybe we should, maybe it'd be worth it to grab the crates. That way we'd have at least a little inventory, a little space to put stuff. Um, everything else I think can wait. Do this.
Let's hope this takes us somewhere good. I'm thinking it'll take us further south. Okay, here we go. Hey, where are we? Um, I don't hear any growlies. Okay, we are way west. Oh, jeez Louise, look how far west we are. Holy cow. Okay, where are we compared? There's our south one. Where are we now? Okay, so we went, we went west. Well, it's not perfect, but it's definitely worth checking out. Um, we're in Andesite, which is nice. We didn't have any Andesite before. Other than through that ruin. Let's just go up. Oh, and Paratite. Hey, that means olivine for our steel. Excellent. And slate for roofs. Nice. And limestone. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll call this the rainbow TL. And shale. <laughs> How many rocks are we going to go through? Sandstone. <laughs> There's the dirt. We need to mark this. Wow. Oh, hello, Mr. Ram. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Wow. Um, wow, this is beautiful. There's a fruit, there's a couple of fruit trees. Oh, there's geologic activity here. I don't see any big better ruins, but I do see a ruin right there. Wow, you guys, this is gorgeous. I have a decision to make. Look at there's fruit trees right there. A bunny. The apple tree. It is It's October and it's 13 degrees here. This this could still I mean, let me look at the map again. We are we're not quite as far south, but we're close. Look at that. We're at Yellowstone. Yellowstone. We're in Yellowstone National Park and Redwood National Park merge. Well, I mean, honestly, this doesn't get us as far south as the other one, but it's not it's not that bad. And it is prettier. I mean, we have bam we can go get bamboo at the other place. But this is stunning. Look at how beautiful this is. We're probably going to have more wolves and, ooh, we're probably going to have more wolves and bears and stuff here as we would there because it was further south. But we do have amaranth here, so and that's a pretty good signal of, of warmth. I don't like building out of redwood. I've built out of redwood before, and it just is too pink for me right now. I'm not feeling the whole pink thing. So, oh, here's Terra Preta. Mark this. Uh, we haven't found any Terra Preta. I mean, I don't think I have any Terra Preta anywhere. Isn't that crazy? It's our first Terra Preta find in this playthrough. Let's walk south for a minute. Is there a trader? I don't see a trader. Probably in these woods hiding. I wouldn't blame him. Would that be him right there?
I think we have a big shore right here. Let's go south and see if those are oak trees. Yeah, that's oak um, mixed in down there in the sandstone desert. The sandstone desert would offer us lots of, lots of um, brown coal and lead. I'm really struggling to make up my mind because they're both so beautiful. Let's walk up through this redwood forest and see if we can find um, the, a trader. And we'll probably find wolves, so I should probably... Um, I haven't heard any, but... Um, oh, that doesn't mean they're not here. Another, there's so many caves to explore. I want to watch the temperature too. It's 15 degrees still. I mean, it's really nice. I don't know if I'm ever going to, would ever be able to find a trader in this thick forest. There's lots of mushrooms back here. As I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go here because I just love the trees and stuff. There's another, look at all these yummy caves. Um, and I think I'm, I think I am going to pick right here as a hanging tree. Um, another cave. To do a garden area. And to build a small house. I have ideas for a house. And I think out in that open area would be really... Oh, look, I found him. Hello, dude. You're way out here in the boons, the boondocks. Furniture trader. Don't throw a rock at him, hippie. Okay. Ooh. He's my kind of guy. He's got some paintings we don't have. We have that one, but we don't have those three. What can we sell you? Oh, we can sell you nails and strips. Our forge is going to be elsewhere, though, buddy. This is just going to be like a winter retreat for gardening. But, um, Mouse, I'm glad to see you here since I'm so alone. So, you guys, I think this is what we're going to do. I think I'm going to build a small house right here in this flat area. Let me get. Let me zoom in on the map build a house right here in this flat area. It's not going to be very big. It's just going to be one that's made out of... Um, I actually haven't thought about what it's going to be made out of yet. I want it to be wood now that we, we can do slate roof because it's right there in the TL. Um, and we could do some limestone bricks and some sort of wood. And then we'll make a farm. We'll make a garden in here. I'm thinking about doing two separate gardens. I'm thinking about doing a food garden and a flax garden um i might put the flax garden a little farther away and just a food garden right here so um i'm gonna set some stuff down just because um i don't have any building materials on me the only thing i have is um some and i didn't get my bed because my my travel bed is is literally at the other place. I really like the other place, but I think that this will serve us very well for a little house and garden. And then maybe we can use that other spot as a jumping spot to go further south eventually. Um, that's what I'm hoping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build us... I'm going to use that as the entrance because I don't have space. To, I'm just going to build us a little protection here. And then I need to think about, um, so we can come in at night. I didn't bring any wood, um, but we do have some candles for light. So what I'm thinking is we set some stuff down and then we go back to the other TL to pick up some stuff. Um, there's not a lot um, there that I really want to get, but I did want to go through that ruin again. Ooh, it's getting to be sunset. Hop up and look at it. Oh, am I sure? This is so beautiful, too. This is my bauxite, PL. 
and the other one is going to be the rainbow teal. So I need to name them in my mind. That way I'll remember what they are. We have that teal here to fix. So let's run over and grab some stuff. I'm going to sleep the night here after I get over to our little spot here. And then we'll go to the ruin the next day. And I did bring that tuning fork. I am going to try to um, capture a locust. See if it works. Oh, I just found peanuts. Yes, that's amazing. I got a drifter on my ass too. Yeah, peanuts. Yes, yes, yes. We can come this to through this um, and just explore for more peanuts. Oh, look. Our little cabin and rice. Um, other things like that for sure. Nice that it's so close, really. The hop away. Okay, you guys. I just slept through the night. The growlies are really surrounding me. But I'm gonna... Run. We're gonna go over to that other TL. Look what I have in my inventory. I have no idea how to use this. Attack a locust for a chance to convert it to an ally. So we're gonna try that. I left a few pieces of lore over there as well. And I think that this will be the next TL we fix. We only need one more gear in order to fix one more TL. So, um, yeah, I think that will be the next one. So there's a couple of things I want up there still. I want this banner right here. There was two pieces of lore that I wanted. So let's go get this banner first. Okay, okay, we have, okay, we have locust, okay. Okay, okay, get the spear out. Okay, come here, guys. Okay, I killed it. Killed that one. Killed them all. Hmm. Very effective in killing the locust, that's for sure. Oh, there's another one. It says attack it, right? Attack a locust for a chance to convert it to an ally. Okay, come on. Hmm, just killing it. Hmm. Okay, let's get this. Let's go, um, let's go up there. Because how did I miss this one up here? Did I decide that I was going to leave them one? Is I think that's what I said, but... I think that that's crazy talk. Crazy talk. Oh, those broke. Okay, well, I guess we have a chance that this other one's going to break, too. Hope it doesn't. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, I grabbed onto the ladder just the last second. What? How did I do that? Did that one break? Oh, it did. It broke. Yep, damn it. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Some more locusts. Let's give you another try. Wow, there's a lot of you. Okay, it's just killing them. Bummer. Oh, there's another one. Hello, buddy. Hmm. Okay, the lore that I wanted to grab was over here. Maybe not. And there was some tables that I saw that I really wanted that I looked when I looked back. Look at those Kimberlite tables. Can I get those? Yeah. Why didn't I grab those to begin with? And there was some lore back here somewhere that I couldn't pick up. And I don't remember where that was. Was that upstairs? Or was it downstairs? Let me find it. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. There's all kinds of monsters in here. What the heck? It was down here. 
Jeez, 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 jeez. Get him, hippie, get him. Dude, what are you doing back here? You can't hide from me. Woo! It was right in here. We're gonna grab these. And then we're gonna see. Can we grab this? No. 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 Okay. No biggie. There was a large seed. And a whole mold. We'll leave that if we can't if we can't uh, can't get it. We if we ha run out of inventory space, that's something I'll leave behind. Okay, I think we're done with this ruin. Um, this was really really fun, really fun. I think we'll leave the spear here because we know those locusts are there for another chance. We can come back sometime for another chance to. Um, You know, try to tame them. We'll leave this here, and then we're going to take the pro pick and that. I'm going to pack up my inventory um, and see how we're doing. Okay, well, I am just going to have to come back. Um, we're going to grab this, this, and we're going to grab this one because we can't get the other one. We're not going to leave that one here. And that is pretty much it. We're going to head back to the TL and we're going to leave this shack right here. I did grab two of the torch holders. We have, we don't have a cooking pot here, but I have to take the cooking pot with me. And then we do have a few other things left there, but I do think that other spot is very pretty. We can come back here to explore, to get bamboo, to get more rice and things, but we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to go. Actually, I'm going to run home now through the TL and then we're going to go. We're going to get another box. And so I have a little bit more inventory, drop some other stuff off um, before I build the garden. OK, you guys, let's do a quick story time so I can put these down. I want to read these two other lore books that we got. The Last Words of a Fisherman. I write this now in the hopes that someone will find my words and understand the horrors that we have faced. I am but a simple villager, a humble fisherman who has seen things that no man should ever see. It began last night like any other. The moon was high in the sky and the town was quiet. I was in my cottage writing in this very book when I heard a sound that made my blood run cold. It was a roar, a sound like a thousand bears bellowing at once. I ran outside and saw it, the creature that would destroy our town. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before, a monster with wings that blotted out the moon and eyes that glowed like embers. It let out another roar and I saw half of the town evaporate before my very eyes. I knew then that we were doomed, that our town was lost. I could feel the darkness creeping over me and I knew that I would not survive the night. And yet, even as I write these words, I cannot help but feel a sense of hope. Perhaps someone will find this book and they will understand the horrors that we have faced. Perhaps they will know that we were once a prosperous town, a place where the fish ran thick in the river and the people were happy. And perhaps they will know that we did not go quietly into the night, that we fought until the bitter end. The following pages are burned and crumbled in your hands. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, one more. The weight of stone. Stationary long-term recording. Place of origin unknown. State background noise. Technical issues. And this is and this one is for you, my lovely niece. What is it? It's heavy and clicking. Well, why don't you open it? Hmm. Are they stones? You sound so disappointed. What's so bad about stones, little Emily? 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 Emily. But there's stones everywhere. Indeed there are, but these are special. Special stones? Marbles. Worked on them myself. See? All round and smooth and easy in the hand. So they're round stones, but still stones. Hush, aren't you impatient today? Look here, let me show you. You put one down like this, see? Then you take the others and try to, aha, almost hit it. Want to give it a try? It looks easy. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Want to make a bet with your uncle? Mama said you shouldn't gamble. Right, your mother is absolutely right. Well, then I guess then I'll take these here back and search for a better g gift for our little girl. Give them here. You gifted them, so they're mine now. But you didn't want them, did you? 
No, I want them. You can't catch me, so you can't take them back. Hoy, no running. Wait, if your mother sees you, and off she goes. Little whirlwind. Oh my god, I played marbles in grade school. That's cute. Okay, in the morning, we're going to go back. Start a garden. Okay, you guys, I am back down at the Rainbow TL. I am back in this area that we decided, that I decided to set up shop at. Um, and we are going to set up the house right here on the edge of this pond facing south. And then we're going to garden, do a, a food garden up here somewhere. And then we're going to do a flax garden down here. It's the biggest, flattest area. And we're going to start with the flax garden. Um, it's still not light out and I have rotting food over here, which is really, really stinks. I did, I do have a, a thing of food down here, um, a vessel with some food and I have all this stuff and I went back and I got that other owl chest from that, um, better ruin, um, before I came here. So we're gonna the very first thing we have to do is we have to go get some oak and i know and i know that there was oak um down here this is all oak so we're gonna run and get some oak in the dark Ooh, i need my lantern okay let's get a couple of oaks and then i will meet you back at the future homestead where we're gonna plant the flax there's bees right there look at that right close that's amazing and then there's another trader hiding over here in the woods. Let's see what he is. Hello, mister. Are you an artisan trader? You sexy Alphonse. Luxuries. Of course. Oh, there's more Terra Preta. That's right. I remember I found some Terra Preta somewhere. We need to go get that for the flax garden. Okay, let me grab this Terra Preta. Where was that other Terra Preta? Did we have it marked here? Yeah, we did. Okay, well, let's, uh, we'll get that later. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set up the flax garden and I wanna show you um, what I did. Oh, there's the panda. Hello, panda. Sweetie? I'm your new neighbor. I saw the panda at the other one, actually. Um, oh my god, look, there's more. What the heck? Just telling me it was the right spot. Excellent. <gasps> I just heard a kitten. <gasps> oh, hello sweetheart a wild ocelot oh my god we got to kill something to get it some meat um let's go kill that cow we have to feed this kitten we found a wild kitten oh my gosh okay this is definitely the spot come here mister oh my gosh that's so easy Oh, we have a kitten. I'm sorry, I just killed your daddy. Um, let's eat these two things. Grab some. And what we're going to do is we're going to put... I'm going to leave that there. That We're going to put that kitten in a hole. Because otherwise it'll run around everywhere. Where it, Where was it? It was right up here by the flax farm. There it is. Hello, kitten. Okay, um, we're going to cut the grass. We're going to dig a hole for it to be in because we want it to stay close. Hello, buddy. You're going to go right down in there. And then we're going to jump down and we're going to feed it. Hello, sweetheart. I'll be back later. I'll be back. Yes, it's purring. I can hear it purring. There, was there just one? Okay, we have a kitten. Yes. Finally. Okay. God, I'm so distracted. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's mark the kitten hole. Jeez. That way I know where he is and he won't bounce around and I won't lose him. Okay, I have it configured. Basically what this is, is if you look on the 
map. It's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little gardens. And we could do another one in the middle because we're not really using the middle. Um, what I did on the Bohemian server is what we did on the Bohemian server is we were building something cute in the middle. But here, what we can do is we have we can rotate the crop the flax. Now this is a tiny version compared to the one I did on the Bohemian server, but I think this is really gonna work. So now I need to figure out where to get in and out. I think I'm gonna do um, a gate here. And probably a gate here. Okay, I'm going to check on the kitten. And then we... Still sleeping. Uh, then we're going to get a hoe and hoe that up. It's medium fertility soil. I'm going to use the terra preta in the food garden. And I brought a bucket. I made another bucket to bring down here. So we'll grab some water. From our little pond. This is going to be our front yard pond later once we get this done. I'm super excited about this, you guys. I can't wait. Okay, so let's put the water in real quick. I think we got it all. Now I'm going to hoe it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hoe up the middle one. I've got everything else hoed up. So what I'm going to need to do is replace these grass blocks with something. Oops, I did not mean to hoe that up, but I need to replace those grass blocks with something. I don't think if they have grass, a hair will um, spawn on them, but I won't. I, I want to be sure. So because I don't want anything destroying our flax garden. So I think I only have like 11 or 12 seeds right now, but um, it's better than nothing. I will be going back, obviously, to break down that garden because the garden uh, will not be surviving much longer because it's so cold there. I am curious as to watch the temperature here. I okay, will put this down and we're going to get the flax seeds. This is only 11 flax seeds. This is primarily going to be the flax garden. I don't know why I couldn't plant something in there that's not K right now, but I'm not going to worry about it because I have lots of food. This is just going to be a flax garden. The next Next thing we do will be the food garden. Wow, not very many seeds, but it's a start. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to put right in here. Um, let's go ahead and dig it out. And then I'll bring something back. Might have some cobblestone. Or I might be able to make some. Okay, we're going to put these down right here. And we'll just use this center one as an extra one when we need it. Um... And there we go. The flax garden is going. Uh, I will put a lot more flax in there when I get a chance. Well, guys, I feel like this is probably going to be a pretty long episode. Um, I had some indecision, and uh, but now we've got our flax garden going. In the next couple episodes, we're going to build a little house here. I do have a design in mind that's adorable, and it's just going to be a little cabin with a little food garden on the side. And we're just come stay here um, to get out of the snow every now and then. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Take care out there. Stay safe. Bye guys.